part two of our introductory beginners course. Today we are going to look at what technical analysis is. Technical analysis is the way of predicting what the market will do based on movements of the market in the past. So basically you will be using price and volume to see what the market is trying to tell you. It mainly relies on past, past market movements and it also contains loads of other, other indicators as well. Now let's take this step by step. So in technical analysis, the first thing that we look at is what are the different chart types. So you have multiple chart types like Heiken Ashi candles, you have line, you have line graphs, but the most common and the most effective way is to use candlesticks, Japanese candlesticks as they're called, because they give you more information than other kinds of charts. Right? So in candlesticks, you can see the opening price, the high, the low, as well as the close. So it gives you multiple information in just a, as a simple candle. Now that is most recommended, but obviously other people do use other, other types as well. Heiken Ashi, especially recently has been gaining popularity, especially since people do believe that it gives them better indications of entry and exit, especially entry, right? So that's about candle six. Now moving on to what type what type of chart should you use? Basically the duration, because you have multiple types. You have a one minute candle, you have five minute candles, you have 15, one hour, all the way up to months, right? So it basically depends on the way you are trading. For example, if you are a long-term investor, then you can even use a one day chart and be completely fine with it because it will give you enough, especially if you have a long-term investing horizon of let's say 15 years or 20 years plus, then a one day chart gives you more than enough information. So you can just enter based on the price, whatever, whatever the current day's price is. However, moving, if you move to other time frames, for example, if you are swing trading, in swing trading, you are basically looking at something, a, a trade which lasts you a few weeks or, you know, a, or a couple of months or something. That's the general time frame for swing trade. In that, what most people prefer is again, you always do use a larger time frame because it gives you the long term trend. But then to enter your trade, you can also use like a one hour, one hour uh, chart. Some people prefer the four hour chart as well, but four hours and one hours, four hour and one hour is pretty common for swing trading. Coming to intraday trading, what people do in intraday trading is you have to close your position before the end of the day. So some trades last anywhere from 30 seconds all the way to, you know, a couple of hours. So in intraday trading, you are very price sensitive. So. The one basic mistake which people do make is when they are intraday trading, all they do is look at just a smaller time frame. However, you always need to know what the trend is. So you need to look at the one day chart as well. You should know what the market has been doing in the past. You have to look at the four hour chart as well, the 15 minute chart as well, but then you eventually enter and exit your trades based on a five minute chart. I don't recommend using anything smaller than a five minute chart because then you have a lot of noise. By noise, I mean you do have uh, some random fluctuations in the market which do have the tendency to confuse you. So a five minute chart is the least that, that most traders go to. Uh, there are other important factors when it, comes to support and, when it comes to technical analysis, which is support and resistance. Now, all these topics that we're mentioning today, we will have separate videos on all of them individually. And we already have one out on support and resistance. So we have a couple of videos which show you how to draw support and resistance lines. What is the importance of them? Why people use them? Why those zones are important? And I've made charts for Nifty. I think I made a video about two weeks ago and those lines will still be valid. So even if you're trading tomorrow or the day after, you can still use the same exact charts, right? The same exact support and resistance zones. Now you have various multiple, you have various other indicators as well. For example, one of the most common is moving averages. Uh, moving ab in moving averages, the most important, according to me at least, is the 200 day moving average. So that is basically considered by most people to give you an indicator of the trend. So basically, if you have a 200 day moving average and the market is above it right now, then you can safely say that the market is in a uptrend. However, if the, if the market is below the 200 day moving average, then most people say that it is a downtrend. So these, there are multiple ways of using uh, moving average as well. What some people depend on are crossovers. So what they will do is they'll have two moving averages. One could be, for example, a 10 day moving average and the other could be a 30 day moving average. So one's a longer time frame and one's a shorter time frame. How you use this depends on you. 
But what some people do is, some people use exponential moving averages. What exponential moving averages do to you is they give you more emphasis on the latest data. So for example, the market moved, market moved up by 10 points a month ago. And then yesterday, the market moved up by 10 points too. What, what an exponential moving average will do is give more weightage to yesterday's data as compared to last month's. Now, the way people use these crossovers is when the long-term time frame crosses over the short-term time frame, they try to make inferences. So suppose you have a long-term time frame and the shorter time frame goes above it. That can give you an indication that currently the momentum is stronger than it was before. So if it crossed over the longer time frame and is moving up now, you can infer that the speed or the momentum of the stock is now increasing. This does, this does give users some indication of what to do. You also, have multi, you also have Fibonacci retracement, you have stochastic indicators, you have relative strength indexes, but then we'll probably go into them in, in more detail later on. Again, all of these indicators aren't as important, according to me at least, because they use the exact same data. The most important thing in technical analysis is price. By far, that is the most important indicator that you have. Every, every other indicator is derived from, from price and volume, basically. Right? So whether it's a moving average, it depends on the price. Whether it's a stochastic indicator, it depends on the price. So price and volume are most important and that is what most people should focus on. Okay, so that is it for a basic overview on technical analysis. In, on all of these topics in the future. For some of them, we've already made videos. So if you, ha if you guys have questions or doubts, you can always co comment down below or you can reach out to us on Reddit as well. Our sub subreddit's name is r slash Indian Street Bets and we are pretty active there. We have a community of over 5,000 active traders and you can always ask doubts. Thank you.